Lighting manufacturers often specify the power consumption of their light fixtures in units of watts, volt amps, abbreviated as VA, or both. Coupled with the common faulty generalization that watts and volt amps are interchangeable, making sense of watts and volt amps can certainly be confusing. To gain a better understanding, let's work with a more intuitive analogy. Imagine pouring beer into a glass. The glass has a finite volume, some of which gets filled up by beer and foam. Think of watts as the actual liquid. This is the useful, drinkable portion. Volt amps, on the other hand, are like the total volume taken up by both the liquid beer and foam. In electrical terms, our foam is called volt amps reactive and is a result of the less than 100% efficient way that electronics and LED drivers convert power. But at the end of the day, what we really care about is how much liquid beer we're getting and whether we're overflowing the glass. So watts and volt amps are the more relevant figures. Besides, no one wants to do trigonometry if we don't have to. In fact, you're not nearly as likely to see volt amps reactive as you are to see power factor, or PF. Simply put, power factor is the ratio of watts to volt amps. In other words, what percentage of the occupied volume is liquid beer? You can also divide the watts by the power factor to figure out the volt amps. Generally, the power factor of LED lamps will be somewhere between 0.5, considered inefficient, and 0.9, considered very efficient. If a lighting manufacturer only provides a watts figure, we recommend assuming a low power factor of 0.5 to be safe. So what's with the misconception that watts and volt amps are interchangeable? That comes from the days of incandescent and halogen light bulbs, which, sticking with our analogy, had no foam. Incandescent and halogen bulbs don't require any electronics or power conversion, so no reactive power is used. In other words, any volume used up is used up entirely by liquid beer. For incandescent and halogen bulbs, the volt amps are equal to the watts. Note that this also means incandescent and halogen lamps have a power factor of 1. Power factor can never be greater than 1. That would mean greater than 100% efficiency, in which case you'd be able to cram a keg of beer into a bottle, and you should go apply for a patent right now. Anyway, here's the big takeaway. This means that for any type of lamp, the volt amps will always be equal to or greater than the watts. All right, last piece of this puzzle. What does the glass represent? Well, that's like your transformer. And yes, the transformer rating is given in watts, but consider that a rating of the total available volume of the glass. Whether we're filling the glass with liquid beer or foam, if we fill up past the available volume, it's going to overflow. Fortunately, transformers are equipped with safety fuses that will stop the flow of electricity once the rated maximum is exceeded to prevent a fire or equipment damage, but that means power gets cut from all lights on the circuit. Moral of the story, use the sum of your light fixture's volt amps to size your transformer. Otherwise, you'll have a bigger mess on your hands than spilt beer. For more videos like this one, visit landeffects.com slash powertips or check out the Land Effects phone app.